When you open Solid Edge ST6, you will be brought to this page. If you are very new to Solid Edge, I would suggest looking at the New to Solid Edge start here. This will provide you with different tips and helpful tools to introduce you to create parts and various things. Over here on the left, we have a, a selection to open an existing document. This is helpful if you already created parts and want to browse through and open certain parts. Here are your create icons where you can create various solid edge parts. Um, there is an title ISO part, ISO sheet metal, ISO assembly, ISO weld mat, and ISO draft. Uh, you will be using mainly the part, assembly, and draft features. Now a quick introduction into a part. When you create a part, uh, this is only for a single part of a total object. So say you'd be wanted to design a bicycle. Um, say just the rear tire would be one part of the whole assembly. So for each individual part that's made of, say, a different material, you would create a single part for that. So let's um, just open a part and see what it looks like. Now the first thing you would want to do would be to save your part. So you'd click on this application button and click save or save as and wherever your desired folder would be. So you just save it to the desktop here. And so if you'd be making a bicycle tire, I would suggest um, naming it something helpful. So tire. Now I want to quick look into some properties that you can edit. Uh, click the application button and go down to properties. Now here there's a material table and file properties that are will be very helpful to you. The file properties we can edit different things one big helpful thing is units. So the default unit of Solid Edge is the SI units. Um, so here they have millimeters and degrees and millimeters squared as their defaults. If you'd want to create something in inches, I strongly suggest changing that first here in inches so that you can easily create the part with the desired units. And also, I mentioned about the, the material table, and that's right here. This will define the material of the part you are creating. So if you would be defining the part, uh, bicycle tire, for example, you would want to um, select some type of rubber or something similar or even enter your own values. Uh, this also has um, face fill styles and rendering this would be helpful for um, selecting what type of preview color it will give you when working with the part and in rendering same thing once you render the material you could select different rendering properties